I think it was a great fight. I'm very proud of uh, Tio. Tio came to fight. If anybody had any questions, I think, man, he just proved it, man. He just proved that uh, if there was doubt before, there's definitely no doubt now. Not only in him and in, in himself, but with everybody else watching. Because that was, that, was, that was an amazing performance. Leading up to this, I think a lot of times um, fans don't always understand what a fighter goes through mentally as well. Um, he went through some ups and downs. He's currently going through some legal issues right now. But just overall, like when you think about what he's been sort of battling mentally and for him to show up like that in the ring, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, um, everybody's going through their own battles. You know, it just depends on how you uh, deal with it. And, um, man, if you're, if you're strong enough mentally, you can get through anything. And um, I guess uh, that just shows you that there's nothing we can't get through with uh, prayer, hard work, and belief. And, um, man, I, I was surprised. I, I honestly, I wasn't sure what to expect tonight. And, um, man, T.O. did that damn thing, man. Shout out to him. Does anyone beat him at 140 right now with that type of performance? Um, I mean, of course. Uh, I mean, I can't say nobody doesn't beat him because of that beautiful performance. Because, I mean, do I feel like Tank can do that? Yes. Do I feel like uh, Shakur can do that? Yes. Do I feel like Haney can do that? Yes. So, now I can't say none of them can beat him. I think after that performance, a lot of people says he has a, a, a good chance against him now. So. Josh Taylor is a, a big 140. Um, I think. Do you think now he'll he'll probably be likely moving up to 147? Uh, I'm gonna be honest and give you my opinion. I think 147 will be too heavy for him. He's not. In, in my opinion, he's not really a power puncher at all. He doesn't really. I just felt like that there was no danger for um, for Tio. Like in the last round, I'm saying most people would say, "Yo, just move. Don't let him hit you. Run." In my mind, I was saying, do what you've been doing, you know? Eat, win the last round, you know, get some, get another extra round in. I do want to comment on the 115, 113, that's crazy. Yeah. I think boxing needs to um, do something about these judges, the ones that are real, completely off, to the point where they're not really allowed to judge any more boxing fights. And that's the only way we can clean boxing. And when you see something that's outrageous, I'm gonna go home and watch this fight again. But in my opinion, and from watching it live, there's no way it should be 115, 113. I just feel like when something like that, that obvious happens, they should be suspended from um, from uh, being judges. That's the only way you can clean boxing. It's the only way if you start suspending the people that make those terrible decisions. You know? Right. All right, well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, my fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and do so by clicking this icon right here or else.